Ansible is a complete automation solution for your IT environment. You can use Ansible to automate Linux and Windows server configuration, orchestrate service provisioning, deploy cloud environments, and even configure your network devices. Ansible modules abstract actions on your system so you don't need to worry about implementation details. You simply describe the desired state, and Ansible ensures the target system matches it. This module availability is one of Ansible's main benefits, and it is often referred to as Ansible having batteries included. Indeed, you can find modules for a great number of tasks, and while this is great, I frequently hear from beginners that they don't know where to start. Although your choice of modules will depend exclusively on your requirements and what you're trying to automate with Ansible, here are the top 10 modules you need to get started with Ansible for Linux system automation. Copy. The copy module allows you to copy a file from the Ansible control node to the target hosts. In addition to copying the file, it allows you to set ownership, permissions, and SE Linux labels to the destination file. Here's an example of using the copy module to copy a message of the day configuration file to the target hosts. For less complex content, you can copy the content directly to the destination file without having a local file, like this. This module works idempotently, which means it will only copy the file if the same file is not already in place with the same content and permissions. The copy module is a great option to copy a small number of files with static content. If you need to copy many files, look at the synchronize module. Multiple files, directories using with underscore items. If you have multiple files to be copied, then you can iterate over them using with underscore items. The following example will copy multiple files given as a list of the home directory. User and group. The user module allows you to create and manage Linux users in your target system. This module has many different parameters, but in its most basic form, you can use it to create a new user. For example, to create the user Ricardo with UID 2001, part of the group's users and wheel, and password my password, apply the user module with these parameters. Notice that this module tries to be idempotent, but it cannot guarantee that for all its options. For instance, if you execute the previous module example again, it will reset the password to the defined value, changing the user in the system for every execution. To make this example idempotent, use the parameter update underscore password on underscore create, ensuring Ansible only sets the password when creating the user and not on subsequent runs. You can also use this module to delete a user by setting the parameter state, absent. The user module has many options for you to manage multiple user aspects. Make sure you look at the module documentation for more information. Package. The package module allows you to install, update, or remove software packages from your target system using the operating system standard package manager. For example, to install the Apache web server on a Red Hat Linux machine, apply the module like this. This module is distribution agnostic, and it works by using the underlying package manager, such as yum, dnf for Red Hat based distributions and apt for Debian. Because of that, it only does basic tasks like install and remove packages. If you need more control over the package manager options, use the specific module for the target distribution. Also, keep in mind that, even though the module itself works on different distributions, the package name for each can be different. For instance, in Red Hat based distribution, the Apache web server package name is HTTPD, while in Debian, it is Apache 2. Ensure your playbooks deal with that. This module is idempotent.
and it will not act if the current system state matches the desired state.